everyone, Sean here from Cordistry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play Cocoon by Catfish in the Bottle Men. We got a capo on fret 3 today and I'm going to break down all the different chords, chord progressions, and strum patterns in this lesson. Now if you check the description you're going to find a link to the chord chart. While you're down there you'll see my social media links and please hit that subscribe button if you want more lessons just like this one. Alright, I'm going to zoom in now so we can check this one out. Okay, so again, we have a capo on the third fret. That makes this fret zero now. This is one, two, three, and so on. You get the idea. All right, so I'm gonna show you all the chords first. If you have these shapes down, you can click right here or the link in the description to bring you right to the intro, and you can start the song from there. So here are the chords that we're gonna to use today. G major, E minor, suspended second, C slash G, and D major 11. Some of these chords sound kind of complicated, but they aren't. You can trust me on that one. So here's how you make a G chord. G goes like this. Your first finger is on fret two of the A string. Your second finger is on fret three of the low E string, and your third and fourth fingers are on fret three of the B and high E strings. Strum all six strings. E minor goes like this. Your second and third fingers are on fret two of the A and D strings. Strum all six strings. Cool. D sus two, also known as D suspended second, goes like this. Your first finger is on fret two of the G string. Your third finger is on fret three of the B string. Strum the A to high E strings. So we have open A, open D, second fret G, third fret B, and an open high E string. This one right here is important, so make sure you can hear that open high E. Nice. C slash G goes like this. Your first finger is on fret one of the B string. Your second finger is on fret two of the D string. Your fourth finger is on fret three of the A string, and your third finger is on fret three of the low E string. Strum all six strings for this one. A C slash G chord is going to be a regular C chord, like you know, with a G in the bass. So we're just adding an extra bass note, and that makes this a C slash G. Okay, the last chord is going to be this one, D major 11. What you're gonna do is just take your pinky off of the C slash G shape and move everything up two frets. All right, let's do that again. So you got this C slash G chord, take your pinky off, move everything up two frets. This is fret five of the E string on your third finger. This is fret four of the D string with your second finger, and this is fret three of the B string with your first finger. So you're gonna strum all six strings, but watch out, you want your third finger to mute the A string like this. So you're only gonna hear five out of the six. The E string, D string, G string, B string, and high E string. This is a D major 11 chord. It's got a really nice open kind of airy sound to it. Nice. We got all the shapes down. Again, G, E minor, D sus 2, C slash G, and D major 11. Let's start on the intro on this chord, C slash G. We're going to hang out on this chord for four measures. And we're gonna play a very specific strum pattern. It's gonna go like this. I'll play it once and then I'll break it down for you. Like that. And then we go right into the verse. There. So let's do it one measure at a time because we see a pattern if we think about it that way. The first measure goes like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Or if we're thinking what rhythms we're using, it goes one and two and three and four and a. One and 
two and three and four and up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, that's the first measure. Keep that in your mind. We're going to do the second measure here. We'll remove the sixteenth notes a bit earlier and do something kind of fancy by taking your first two fingers off of this chord. So here's how the second one goes. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Again. One and two and three and a four and. So on the last upstrum, on the last and beat, just take your first two fingers off of this shape, leave your third and fourth fingers where they are, and this is the chord you get. I'm not going to name this chord, it's just kind of, we're playing around with the shape. So again, one last time, here's measure two. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. You got that? The third measure is going to be a copy of the first measure. That's why I said keep that one in mind. We're going to play that again. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and a same chord, C slash G, same exact strum pattern as the first measure. One and two and three and four and a. And then the fourth measure, we're going to go one and two and three or down, up, down, up, down. And then rest for the rest of the measure. Just like that. Cool, let's put that all together. We're gonna do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Woo, okay. So now you can see all of that written out for you in the chord chart when you click the link in the description. So if you gotta see it again, if you can't quite get it right now and you have to see it in front of you, you're gonna find that down there. One more time though, I'll do it up to tempo. I won't be counting over it, just I want you to be able to hear everything. Just like that. Nice. Now we're into the first verse. And here's the chord progression. We'll do the chord progression first and then the strum pattern. We're gonna go E minor to G to C slash G to G. Each one of those chords is one measure long. And we're gonna play that four times around on the first verse. Okay, so this strum pattern goes like this. We're gonna do down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. If you count it out with 16th notes. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. We wanna do this kind of muted strum as well. So have this part of your hand on the strings next to the bridge. It's not quite a palm mute, but it's definitely muted. So each measure is going to have one of those strum patterns. Again, it's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. And once you got that, you can improvise around it, but that's going to be the main strum pattern. Down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. Again, four times around on the first verse. Here's the last one. Then we're into the pre-chorus. We're, we're going to use this very upbeat kind of strum pattern on this one, but here is quickly the chord progression. We're going to go E minor to C slash G to G to D major 11. So one, two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four. We're speeding up these chords. We're now at a half a measure each. This whole progression is only two measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here's the strum pattern. Down, up, 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 down. So each down, up, down, up is going to be one chord. So four times around, that two measure chord progression with that one measure strum pattern, and then we're on to a chorus. Starting on a C slash G chord, we're gonna go to G, and then E minor, and then D sus two. And you just repeat that around. So you're gonna do two times around that chord progression. Now let's learn how to play the strum pattern. This is a pretty basic strum pattern. We're just going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. And then you can kind of spice it up by doing a little quick down, up on the very end of some of those measures. So you can go like this. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up. right at the very end, do an extra quick down up. That'll just spice it up a little bit so it doesn't sound so slow since the rest of the song is so fast. Okay, so that's how the chorus goes. You're gonna play it two times around after that jump right to another verse. Same chord progression, same strum pattern, but it's gonna be only two times around instead of four. Right there, that was the second verse. And then you're gonna jump into the pre-chorus, E minor, C slash G, G, D major 11. Four times around. And then you're on to the next chorus. So same chord progression there. We're going C slash G to G to E minor to D sus two. Instead of twice though, this one's gonna be four times. So play it four times through, and then you're on to the bridge. And the bridge is gonna go like this. alternating between C slash G and E minor, two measures a piece with that strum pattern from the chorus, and you play it four times around. On the fourth time around though, you hit a D on the end. So let me say it again. We're playing C slash G for two measures, followed by E minor for two measures, playing the same strum pattern as the chorus. Down, down, up, up, down, up. You play that four measure group four times. So C slash G for two, E minor for two, C slash G for two, E minor for two, C slash G for two, E minor for two, C slash G for two. On the fourth time though, we go E minor for one and then D sus two for one. So you're gonna finish out that uh, bridge section with a D sus two chord, okay? And then following that is kind of a little jam part. Same chords, C slash G for two measures, E minor for two measures, but do kind of like you were doing in the intro and use your first two fingers to kind of improvise a little bit. And then on the E minor, what you can do is use your pinky to play on fret three of the B or the high E string to have a little melody during that chord too. So just play it whenever you feel like, make a little rhythm happen with that extra note there, 
and it'll sound pretty cool. So you're gonna do that two times around. Once you're done that, you're at the end of the bridge and onto the next chorus. The third chorus is gonna be the exact same length as the second chorus. Same chord progression, C slash G, going to G, going to E minor, going to D sus two, four times around. Okay, so that's gonna be the last chorus. Uh, you're gonna have some different lyrics going on on the second time through, so the third and the fourth times. So just watch out there. You feel like you want to play the pre-chorus because it's the pre-chorus words over the chorus chord progression, but just continue to play the chord progression that you're, you're playing. Okay, so that's the last chorus. And then the outro is going to be kind of like we did at the intro. And, you know, do that same. Slow it down, slide up into the D major 11 shape, and then end with a G chord. Okay, so that's gonna be how the song goes. Let's think about all the different parts before we finish up this lesson. So we had that intro section with a very specific strum pattern playing the C slash G chord with that one little pull off part and that was really cool. Then we hit the verse, we have our E minor G, C slash G, G chord progression, each one of those one measure long, play it four times around on the first verse, we have our pre-chorus part, E minor, C, G, D major 11, with that very upbeat kind of down, up, 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 pattern. Then we're on to the chorus, C slash G, G, E minor, D sus four, two times around on the first time, and then we start at the verse again, cutting the verse in half on the second time. Another pre-chorus, another chorus. Chorus is double the length, it's four times around. And then we're onto the bridge when we're playing C slash G for two measures, E minor for two measures, back to back, four times. On the last time though, we don't play E minor twice, we play E minor just once and we have a D sus two chord on the end. And then we're back to another chorus, same exact length as the second one. And then we have an outro similar to the intro, but we slow it down at the end, slide into a D major 11 chord, and then finally end on a G chord. So that was the whole song in summary. If you wanna hear me play the whole thing, you can click right here to listen to the playthrough, or again, the link in the description is gonna bring you to that too, so you can see how the whole song goes from beginning to end. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, you can hit that like button. Please subscribe for more lessons just like this one. I appreciate all your support. It's really great 